We're gonna talk about steering deer today through your food plots. What we got here, it's just a little quarter acre clover plot I got back in the woods for early season. I use it for turkey hunting too, but this was a natural area for the deer to travel through. They always came right up the gut, trail wise and goes off. Problem is, on the back side of this food plot, they have found an alternate trail to skip around the west wind. So what we're gonna do is take the chainsaw today, knock a few trees across that other trail we got nothing north of us, and um, they'll still pass through in different spots. But if we can get 85 or 90 percent of the deer to come down this this one trail, we're in a lot better shape for that tree stand. We're in a lot better shape for that bale blind there. So we're going to try to eliminate that one trail today with some scrub trees. We'll leave our big oaks, knock down a couple basswoods or ash or something, close that trail off. Again, they can go through there if they want. But if we can get steer half those deer that we're going that way onto this trail. We're going to increase our deer sightings quite a bit. So this is the area where we're looking at. Here's the food plot is the green that we put in a couple years ago. All these lines here, we felled some timber back here, try to steer the deer through this food plot when we first put this plot in. But we left one kind of weak spot right here where the deer are finding the way. A lot of good trail camera pictures there, and it's a great spot to sit in the blind or the tree stand. But if we can just tighten up this one little spot here, I think we can get almost all the deer coming through this food plot. We've got a couple of the smaller trees that we've laid down across the stuff they're not, that they're not already walking through. So we're just going to keep working our way this way, knocking down some bigger ash and basswood and whatever trees don't do our whitetails any good. So we'll just keep building. We got that all blocked. We'll just keep going this way. And we'll go over to the other side and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished, when I did it the right way last year. And then we'll come back and finish this up. So when you're all done, this is what you kind of end up with. You just got a crisscross mess of logs and it's not. It's not pretty, but it's going to really help with some of the younger trees, let them regenerate without the whitetails nipping them off. And sometimes they use it for bedding cover too. But that's the goal when you're steering them is to try to get yourself, just get the chainsaw out, start cutting down trees. You're going to free up your oak, oaks to drop acorns in the fall, get rid of those ash and basswood and maple and things like that that don't do anything for your deer. But if you do it the right way, you can use it to steer them through a food plot and give you good close 15 and, and 20 yard shots on 85% of the deer that are going to cross through that. Through that area and go finish that up. Log on to frigidforage.com and sign up for the e-news to keep you on track with calendar-based tips throughout the year.